exposing their fangs. Each male hopes to land a death blow. Since hundreds of spiders can hatch from the eggs of a single female, competition for territory and food leads to these violent battles. But this one ends with a stalemate. As the males head back to their burrows, number one passes another night hunter, one of the few he'd rather not mess with, a distant relative of the tick. This is no passive bloodsucker. Its claws are made for grasping prey in the death grip. And at the end of its eight-inch armored body is a gland-like vesicle filled with venom and tipped by a stinger. The East African Scorpion. Now this huge female strikes a defensive pose called the alert stance. She's moved her stinger to the ready position because facing her now is a threat 20 times her size. While it has no stingers, it's covered by thousands of sharp defensive quills. Like the scorpion, it's a solitary hunter and it's hungry. While its hearing is acute, its nose is adapted to pick up strange smells. And tonight, they found the scent of the scorpion, the East African hedgehog. The hedgehog nips the scorpion on the claw, almost begging to be stung. Just as the scorpion strikes, its armored body is crushed in two. Hedgehogs are 40 times more resistant to venom than other mammals their size. And tonight, that's paid off with another kill. Hours later, the horizon brightens once more as the sun rises in the east. This natural clock for all living things has come full circle, and so has the project for the team. A project that has revealed incredible adaptations, from lightning-fast tongues to tiny camouflaged warriors. This is a realm where the beauty and brutality of the animal kingdom converge, and the battle for territory and survival never ends, all at the speed of life.